A lot of local businesses use dirty tactics to rank in Google Maps illegitimately. At best, they use keywords in their business titles, which shouldn't be there as it violates Google's guidelines. At worst, they create fake listings so their business ranks in multiple locations, even if they don't operate there. The result? Your business may be outranked by these unscrupulous people robbing you of valuable visitors you could turn into customers. Google has been notoriously bad at tackling these fraudsters, but has finally woken up and introduced a new way to fight against them once and for all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify those spammers and how to report them directly into Google My Business so your business ranks in Google Maps instead of those scammers. I'm Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I help small business owners like you with their marketing efforts for better online visibility, step by step and click by click. If you are new to my channel, why don't you subscribe today and click the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up as it will be very helpful for me to grow my channel. A few weeks ago, I published a video showing you a quick hack on how to modify some of your competitors' spammy business listings by suggesting an edit directly in Google Maps. While this hack works well, it doesn't stop business owners from overriding your suggestion, turning this into a cat and mouse game, which can be very frustrating. Since then, Google has launched a brand new tool so you can report spammers directly to them. This means that in theory, you will no longer need to edit business listings. And the best part is, the process is not automated since Google has put a team of people to handle the reports and the recurring spammers will be banned. Hallelujah. Before I show you how to properly use this report, it's important you understand what is considered spam in Google My Business. There are multiple instances of spam you can come across in Google Maps, but here are the two most popular ones. Number one, adding extra keywords in business title. This is by far the most common offense. If you watch my video, how to rank in Google Maps fast, you'll know that adding location and service keywords in your Google listing is a sure way to improve your rankings. Here is the perfect example. When I search for a plumber in Kingston, London, the map pack only seems to show one legitimate result. The other two are spamming their listing with additional keywords such as plumbers, Kingston and inexpensive local plumbers. How do I know? I generally check their website and if their business name doesn't match with their listings, they are clearly spamming and should be reported. If you want to be sure what their business name is, you can even call them directly and see how they answer the phone. Second popular spamming technique, create additional listings in locations where they have no presence. This one is also a classic. It's very tempting and extremely easy to create additional business listings to cover a wider area and catch a bigger number of clients in locations where you do not have an actual presence. Here is an example of an electrician's listings that look very suspicious to me. I can find two locations in two different parts of London, yet there's only one address on their website. The photos they have posted on their Google My Business profiles do not indicate they have a genuine office at the address shown in their Google My Business profile, which leads me to believe they are using a home address for one of them. They are using the same phone number for both listings, etc. They're displaying some very strong signs of spammers to me. So what should you do if some of these businesses operate in your area and are ranking instead of you? Report them to Google using the business redressal complaint form. The first part of the form is about your personal information. Add your name and email address to start with, then the name of your business in the name entity that is being impacted field. If you do not want to add the name of your business, simply use NA. The second part of the form is about reporting the business you believe is spamming Google Maps. Select which area of the listing you believe is being used improperly using the drop down menu. You can report on four different types of misuse. Business title, this would typically apply to businesses who stuff keywords in their title, such as location and service, which I've already explained. Address, this would concern businesses who use fake addresses or home addresses to cover multiple areas, for example, or a mail service address. Phone number, this could be for businesses who use call redirect numbers or phone numbers that connect to call centers. Website, this is for listings that display a website address that has nothing to do with the business in question. 
the listing is used to drive traffic to a website and generate business illegitimately. Once you've selected the category, just add the URL for the actual location you want to report by copying the link from Google Maps results into this field. To report more than one location, just click on the Add button below the field. You can also upload a file if you have hundreds of locations to report. Finally, explain in details why you feel the listing is spammy. Be as specific as you can be to help the Google team handle the case, then click on Submit. What happens after you submit your form? You will receive a standard response from Google like this one. Even if Google updates the business, they will not notify you since you don't manage it. Therefore, I would suggest you keep track of all the reports you submit in an Excel spreadsheet, including the name of the business, the date you submitted your form and what you wanted corrected, and check back a few weeks later to verify if action has been taken. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For more free guides, visit rankingacademy.co.uk and join my newsletter list so you are 100% guaranteed to be notified when I publish a new video. Until next time, happy marketing.